Hey everybody, welcome back. Stepping into turn five of our playthrough, a little round top from Avalon Hill. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the action, starting off with the uh, Union phase. Uh, obviously the 20 main, 20th main is not doing anything. So our big focus is going to be on the 83rd Pennsylvania again. Because that seems to be where most of the action is happening right now. So, I got 15 points. What do I want to do? Well, I think right off the get-go, we're going to spend five points to put these guys in volley fire. Oh, I need to actually check for the uh, two disorganized units. Check them to see if they automatically come back on their own. Because that's what happens first. And I believe... It's either a one or a six that come back on. I guess it really doesn't make any difference what I say, because it's a one in six chance regardless. Uh, eh, we'll just say they come back on a one. Seems how low numbers always seem to be good. So we'll go with uh, A company, no. C company, no. Um... So we've already spent five points. Let's go ahead and spend five more points to get these guys undisorganized or back in good order and these guys back in good order. So that's those 15 command points. Uh, so now we go into combat obviously no combat with the 20th main uh the phasing player their opponent gets to fire first so e company you know what e company is going to take a penalty for firing into there because i believe it's not uphill but it is across the wall so let's keep hitting uh a company so b company uh, has taken one casualty, or E Company has taken one casualty so far, so there's strength two, no modifiers. That is a six, which is going to be nothing. Uh, these guys, A Company, is going to fire on C Company of the 83rd, so that's uh, A Company, they're still at full strength, so there's a three. Four, which is nothing, and Lieutenant Scruggs in charge of C Company, who has taken a point of damage, is going to do. I'm going to put two points into there, but unfortunately, it's going to be a minus one because of firing over the wall. So it's on the one column, which is a two, which is nothing. Uh, Union forces get to fire back. Uh, a company is down to two points, so they're going to fire back at uh, E Company of the 4th Alabama. One! All right, that actually... That actually is a disorganized. So... 4th Alabama managed to take to the rise, force the A Company back, but was stopped by return withering fire from the A Company. Um, let's go ahead and do C Company. They are... They've taken two points. I didn't have the points to switch them, so that's only going to be a one. No modifiers. One! All right, so that is going to be a disorganized as well. Looks like the 83rd is starting to come back now that the uh, Rebels have uh, breached the line, or breached the hill. And here we have B and D Company. Uh, 83rd Pennsylvania, neither one of them taking any casualties. Uh, so there's six points, but you can only do five points in volley fire. Uh, one column shift to the right for... Yeah, that's the only modifier, so that's actually going to be on the six column, firing here. Just a six. Ooh, absolutely nothing. So that's not good. Um, All right, so that is all the Union fire. And the Rebels have already fired, so yeah, that's it. And that's basically ending the Union turn five. 
So we're going into Confederate turn five, and this is where it's going to get a little bit interesting because now reinforcements are coming on. Let's see if I can shift the camera for the 15th Alabama. Basically, these guys are going to be coming in in line formation, and how do we want to break this down? B and C. And that is going to be under, actually, no, let's, I got two leaders, so we're going to have Captain Hill leading the first batch. Or the first four. And since he's going to be ordering the same movement command to the uh, four units, he's going to go from 20 to 26 command points. And since they're all in column formation, if I can find my column formation markers. There's a bunch of them. Why can I not find them? Okay, there's a couple. All right, so it's going to be two points for each one of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I forgot that yeah, it costs one point to move with the commander as well. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25. It's going to be 26 to move there. Okay, that's fine. And then the rest of the division. More battalion, actually. Or no, no, yeah, regiment. <laughs> I know... Confederate. I know Civil War formations, honestly. Okay, Colonel Oates has got 25. He's going to be basically ordering the same order to four more units, so that's going to be 31. So he's going to have a little bit more flexibility. Let's find some more in column markers. No, he's actually going to enter on with these guys, so... Five. And I'm going to turn. Ten. Turn. Fifteen. Couple more column formation. Fifteen. That's going to be nineteen. Turn. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. To move here. And turn. Facing that way. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Oops. Bring these guys on. We've got 31. Yeah, that's about all I'm going to be able to do with them. All right, so they have been brought on. Let's see, 47th Alabama does not want to start moving up the hill yet because 15th is not online yet. So then what we have is our lovely friends up here playing with the 83rd Pennsylvania. Um, now, granted, I'm doing this a little bit out of order. I'm kind of doing it by section by section. So up here, we still got to roll reorganization. So for E Company, no. And A Company, no. So we're going to, right off the top, we're going to go ahead and spend five points to bring them up online. Five points to bring them up online. So 
that's five, ten. These guys are going to volley fire. Fifteen. These guys are going to volley fire. Twenty. Now these guys are going to turn and they are going to do normal fire. Yep. I think I think we're good with that. All right. Um, fire phase, obviously none with the uh, Southern Confederate forces. So all we've got up here is our fun fights that we got between the 83rd and the 4th Alabama. Uh, def uh, Confederates uh, turn, so Union gets to fire first. So 83rd Pennsylvania A Company is down one point, so it's going to be a two, no modifiers. Two for nothing. Uh, we'll go with C Company, and they're going to fire straight down the line. They've taken two hits, so they're at one strength point. Four is nothing. And B Company, since they're not able to do a volley fire because it's not their phase, they're at full strength, which is three as well. Nothing. All right, so Confederates firing back. It's going to be, let's see, A and it's going to be five, five points from each. C Company has taken a loss, but C Company and E Company, okay, yeah. So C Company, but you can only put five points out. So it'll be five from here and five from here, but it's going to be a one column shift because of firing through the walls, but plus one for volley fire. So it's going to be an even five. Let's see what we can do. Go ahead and roll these guys first. That is a five, which is nothing. Basically, we need a one, two, or three. And then these guys. The six, nothing. A lot of ineffective fire back and forth at each other. Uh, no melee, because no melee was declared. And that is going to end turn five. I think I'm getting the hang of this nice and quick. Oh, I forgot to put the flag out. Uh, let's go ahead and put the... I'm using the 4th Alabama or 15th Alabama's flag to mark on the turn track when they were getting reinforcements. We'll put the flag right there. Tiny little counters. Big fat fingers usually don't go to well, don't go together too well. All right, so uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, that was that was pretty quick. So um, should we go into should we? Yeah, let's go into go ahead and turn go into turn six. Union forces. Uh, we've got nobody disorganized any place, so that's good. Um, so let's go ahead and break it down by formations. We got these guys here, but I don't think we want to move on the flanks yet wait until they get past a little bit 20th main isn't going to do anything so again we're facing uh, again most of the action is going to be with the 83rd and the 4th Alabama uh, da, 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 da. you know what we're going to go ahead and spend 5 points to initiate volley fire there and we are going to initiate melee with these guys. They can turn one hex side for free. So they're going to face that poor 4th Alabama E Company. And they are going to go into melee. Let's see, how many points is that so far? It's five for volley, four for volley, four for initiate melee. So that's eight. Let's go ahead. Nine, ten, eleven. And that's pretty much all he's going to be able to do. Because he probably doesn't have any other formations he can do anything with. All right. So, um, fire. Again, 20th Main isn't going to be able to fire at anybody. There's nobody see anybody. So, nothing down there. Again, so we're looking back up north. Uh, 83rd Pennsylvania A Company is going to go ahead and shoot first. And they've taken a one hit. So that is strength two. And it's a six, which is nothing. 
And we've got uh, B Company, which is a full strength, which is three, but it's minus one because they're initiating melee. So, ooh. Two is a uh, disrupted. That actually probably will work out pretty good for the Union forces. Oh, you know what? Confederates are actually supposed to be shooting first. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do their two points. They're going to do it at the, uh, the big stack that's coming at them, but it's going to be minus one because it's shooting across the wall. Nothing. A Company is also... Actually, we're going to take A Company and C Company and combine their fire into there. Let's see. A and C. C's taking a hit, so there's five points, but it's one column shift for the wall. There's another column shift for firing uphill? It is. So it's actually two column shifts that they should be looking at. So five column down to the two column, which is the one. Ooh, that's actually pretty good because that's a disrupted. So that is going to disrupt the lead company. Um, unfortunately, oh no, that wasn't volley fire. So roll to one, which is normally an ammo check, but we know that the... Uh, uh, Fourth Alabama only takes an ammo check on uh, volley fires this early in the game. Uh, over here, C and E companies. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? He had four point. Or, yeah, he had a few points left. So we're going to switch around the order of stacking. We're going to put C company to the rear and E company to the front because C company's already taken two hits, and they've got four points. They're putting out of firepower. Okay, so they've done all their defensive. Now it's the offensive firepower. So yeah, we'll go four points to there with volley fire, which actually bumps it up to the six column. And no terrain modifiers. Three, which is a disorganized. And then so these guys, the lead company, which is the one that was actually disorganized from defensive fire, is B, which hasn't taken any hits, so they're 3 minus 1 for being disorganized is a 2. 3, that's a nothing. All right. So, that's all for fire. So now we have melee now. Since they were ordered into combat, I believe they still go into combat. But they're at a minus 1 because of the disorganization. Let's see. Yeah, they still go in, but they're at a minus one because they're disorganized. All right, so Fourth uh, Alabama E Company is taken. Is got well. Let's do the attacker first. So that is three, six minus one for the disorganization is a five, but plus one for the leader, I believe. So yep, yeah, that's plus one. Okay, so that's going to be a 6, and then the defending unit is 2, minus 1 for the disorganization is a 1, but a plus 1, because uh, the attackers are actually crossing Stonewall, Rock, or Fink's hex side. So oh, that wall that was protecting the Union forces actually is now adding a bit of a de detriment. All right, so basically uh, 6 to Two, which is a modifier of plus four for the attacker, or combat differential of plus four. Five, I think this is going to be very, very bad for the rebel forces. Okay. Uh, yep, that's an R result. All units of that, uh, that side must retreat two hexes and are disorganized. Actually, it could have been a lot worse. So they have to retreat, so they're going to go ahead and retreat this way and face that way. And 
One thing I forgot is that these guys are advancing out of the hex. And I'll go ahead and turn to face this way so they are no longer <laughs> under the protection of the stone wall. Hmm, probably should have thought of that one. I threw a little bit better. But uh, we pushed the 4th Alabama off the hill, which is actually a good thing. It would give the uh, 83rd a chance to uh, reform up a little bit. And they've, uh, they're have they facing off against a couple of disorganized units. So that, uh, that uh, yeah, we've still got kind of a wild fight going up here between the 83rd and the 4th Alabama. Um... That's it for the Union. So now we're going to go ahead and go into Confederate forces, or the Confederate phase of the turn. Let's go ahead and try to rally the two units. Start with E Company. Ooh, they automatically rally. Not automatically rally, but okay. So these guys come back, and nobody else is disorganized. So again, we'll just go ahead and break it down by formation. Uh, let's see, Lieutenant Scruggs is going to go ahead and spend five points here. We're going to go ahead and volley fire again. Ten, fifteen, and since he gave the same, or <laughs> more than that, uh, actually, is volley fire by volley fire maybe by hex because you're ordering both units in it. I think it is by hex because you're ordering both units to do the fire. So, uh, five points to get the one company undisorganized, 10, 15. He's ordered the same order volley fire to four units that are adjacent to each other. So he gets to add six to his command total, 26, he's got 15, he's got nine points left. Yeah, I think I think that's good. I think we're done issuing orders up there. So now what have we got? I got the 47th Alabama. Again, they are not doing anything because the 15th is not online. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with the 15th. If I can get the camera to position right all right so we've got let's see where are our two leaders at there's captain hill basically he's commanding both of those guys so we're basically gonna go one two three four and then pivot and shift turn face direction will end up there uh, 9, 14, to move to here. And although he gave movement orders to four units, they were not adjacent to each other, so he doesn't get the bonus. So that's 19 points he's off oh, so far out of 20, so that's all he's going to do. Hmm. Now, Colonel Oates... He's going to go five to here. Oh, you know what? These guys could have been firing. They could have fired because they were in line of sight. So let's go ahead and just go back and do that real quick because this is going to be an easy one. It's going to be three points. <laughs> but it's at three hex range. So it's actually only going to be one fire. Had he rolled a four, so no, doesn't make any difference anyways. So now that uh, the colonel knows that there are <laughs> Union forces on his flank, he's going to go uh, five to there. Um, these guys are going to turn six, seven, eight, nine, and turn again. And since he basically gave the move order to four units contiguously, he gets the plus six bonus. So we're looking at what? One, two, three, four, five, nine. Hmm. 19 to get those guys out of column formation. 20, 21, 22, 23. And 
going to be 29 to there, and they are going to turn. And that is going to be all the command points. Oh, should have been, uh, I think, plus one on the dice roll for firing at uh, units in column formation. Yeah. But dice roll wouldn't have affected anything anyways. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so really the only combat's going to be going on down here. Again, uh, we've got uh, three points. They get their defensive fire first because it's the rebel turn. Uh, so three points. Yeah. Three, say roll to six, nothing. E Company has got four points. Actually a little bit stronger. And they rolled a two. E, a two. Oh, that is actually going to do one point of damage. And so B Company is going to take a casualty. And there's a leader there. So let's see what... Uh, company loses one strength and must check morale. Any officers in the hex must roll for casualties. All right, so morale. And these guys are an A, and they lost one point... Uh, one strength point, so there it makes them a B. Four, they're fine. And leader casualty. Okay, it's a fire combat. The result is a D. Uh, oh, D combat is never cause for officer casualties, even if the effect of units are disorganized. Must have a strength point. Yep, okay. So they're good for that. Um, but let's see, 15th Alabama rolled a one. All right. <laughs> camera cut out on me. I have no idea when it cut out on me. For some reason, this camera shuts the movie off after 30 minutes. So basically what happened was a bunch of nothing down here. Both sides fired at each other, really didn't manage to do anything to either one of them. Um, so anyways, what I was going to do for my little recap is that uh, 47th and 15th is now online. Probably not going to see any advancing next turn because it's going to take a lot of command to get the uh, 15th out of column formation into line formation. So even though we're going to be stepping into turn seven yeah we're going to be stepping into turn seven uh we're still not going to be moving up the hill yet again like i said it probably was going to be turns eight or nine uh before they started moving up and that's all i got hope everybody's enjoying questions comments concerns complaints criticisms in the comment section i'll talk to everybody later see ya